Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to compare and merge different versions of a slide. So this is a very useful feature in PowerPoint, uh, similar to the track changes in Microsoft Word, but what you can do here is you, if you are collaborating with somebody else in, on updating slides, you may send the other person a slide deck and they have changes and send it back to you. Now you may think that, oh, you, you need to go back and forth between the two files, but what you can do is you can merge these slides together to compare the changes and accept or reject those changes. So let's say, for example, I've got this slide deck. This is a very simple slide deck with four slides and the second slide has no changes, the third slide will have a title change, and the fourth slide has a body change. And I'll show you the other slide which has those changes. Let me go ahead and go into the other slide. So this is my other slide that has the changes. Slide two doesn't have any changes. Slide three has an extra sentence here. You can see this is a bad title. This is in the slide title. And this has a body change. This, uh, there was only two bullets in the previous slide. This one has a third bullet. Let me go back into the first slide. You can see nothing, none, of, none of this is here. So I'll go ahead and close uh, the second slide, the one with the changes within the slide. Let me go ahead and close that file. And let's just pretend that, you know, you, I'll go ahead and save that. Uh, and let's go ahead and pretend that you got a file from somebody else. I got, a file, I got this file from somebody else, and I'm going to go ahead and merge it together. So what I need to do is I need to go under uh, review and under review we're going to have a compare command this option so once I click on that it will open up another window where I can select that file the, the location of the file on my hard drive so now I'm gonna compare the file I've opened up the uh, the uh, ex Windows Explorer this is the file that was the one that had changes in slides 3 and 4 I'll go ahead and now click merge so usually if you open up a file you can either have open or save here or if you save a file but now since I've uh, selected that, that compare command we have this merge option so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that what it's gonna do is it's merged that file together within my original file. This is the demo file, not the demo-change file. And what it's done, if I go into slide one, uh, there, there are no changes. So if I click on the revisions here, there is no changes on slide two. Of course, the same thing, there are no changes. Let me make this a little bit easier to view. Uh, let's make the size a little easier to view here. I'm gonna move, move this up here. And uh, slide three, that's where we have the change. We have a title change. So it doesn't show it on the slide, but you notice that now we have our slides. There is a revision. This is a bad title. This is coming from that previous, uh, the other file. And in the details, it will show you that you know it's a title change. So what we can do here, when we go in here, we can go under, we can click that, and we can click that to accept it if we want to accept that change. And once we click that, that change will show up in there. And changes that we don't want, we just don't need to select it. We'll go under slide four. Maybe, maybe there was a body change here, and this slide has a body change. And maybe we don't want to accept it. So maybe we don't want, want to accept this change where it says, what is this, what is this uh, TBD? Uh, maybe if we click on there and, and we wanted to kind of review it and we go, oh, this is not something that we want, uh, maybe we can unselect that and not, not accept that change. And so once we're done with that, we'll, cl we'll click end of review and it's going to ask us if we want to end the review and any unapplied changes will uh, be removed. They'll be discarded. And so we click yes and that review cycle is over. We see now that we have uh, this change is there, uh, but the other change where it had the third bullet here is not there anymore. So there's a way that you can work collaboratively with somebody. If, if you're, you have different versions of slide deck, you don't have to go back and forth between the slides. You can actually merge somebody else's changes within your changes in your file and accept or reject them uh, as needed. So that's how you can use the compare uh, feature in PowerPoint to help you do uh, compare and merge changes to different files. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.